All right, welcome to another video. We're inside the trashy little shed to house, tiny home right now. And I thought we'd do some updates. So got a new air conditioner and I got it to where it can actually fit back behind in there and the knobs can be reached and everything. It's actually working really good right now. That air is nice and cool. Um, as you can see in here, I went the other day and picked up six buckets of drywall mud to start texturing the walls. So, got a little bit of work to do, a little bit of cleaning out to do. Probably going to do that first. Um, still have to run all the electrical up into the lofts. So, going to start on that Monday. Today is Saturday. And also got one little problem. The only problem I found so far. And that is somewhere back in there, there's some light switches. I don't know what I was thinking. That refrigerator is filthy. That refrigerator has been in storage, what, two years now? And it has gotten dirty. I didn't put the handles back on it yet. But anyways, just to kind of show you, let me move this refrigerator sideways here. Yeah, you can see light switches back in there. So, those are for my kitchen. So, I guess I'm going to have to put those out here on this living room wall. I didn't really want to have to do that, but it's not really going to matter. And it should be fairly simple to do. I kind of wish I could have put them over here because there's not going to be a wall here, but that would take a lot and lot and lots and lots of work. And to flip them right over would take maybe 30 minutes and I'd be done. So what we're here for today, and you'll see that at the end of the video, so please stick around, is we're going to paint these steps that we built yesterday and the handrails. I was going to paint the porch again, but considering I'm going to be moving lumber in here and all of that, I don't think that's a good idea to do just yet. So we're just going to paint the steps and the handrails and stuff. So let's give you a few more updates while we're here. Um, kind of let you know what we've done and what's coming up. So as you can see, the reason we had to build steps is because we raised the house up four half blocks or two full blocks, however you want to look at it. And you can see there's more set setting there. Uh, I'm we just got this done about three days ago, and I'm letting everything settle. And then once everything settles, then I'll level it. Then I'll put up some more supporting blocks up underneath into piers. You can see the four by fours there. They'll go. Like you see that bar right behind that's a four by four. You can see a half block. <coughs> That'll come out and four of those will go in. This one over here is already done. Got a rock that was just randomly under there, so I pulled it out. And over here we've got a temporary pier built back there behind that half block. And that will be moved to the left, and then this one will be moved to a little bit to the right. And we'll get those. So there'll be four on this side and four on each end. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when all that's done, then I'll go to the center and I'll start putting piers in the center also. And I'd like about four down the center. And we got the new air conditioner. And I put it on this side because normally, yes, I've got the Lincoln parked over here. But normally it's not parked here. I park on the other side. And I didn't want any paint or anything getting on the Lincoln. So, once again, there's my view, backfield and the lake. So, I mentioned yesterday, if you watched uh, yesterday's film, that these steps were just temporary, and they are. But, I decided today, I'm going to go the width of that porch, which is the width of the steps, approximately six foot. All the way out to that metal pole right there that you see. And that's going to be covered because there's going to be a carport built onto this eventually. I'll get into a video of that on its own. And then I'm also going to build this whole end of this into a deck. 
that's my bedroom window right there. And I think I want a deck probably coming out about 10 foot. See how they've got a nice deck over there? That's what I'd like to have here. You know, uh, yeah, you know, we can do the small back deck. I want something large. So this that'll be over here will be enclosed. Well, not enclosed, but with a roof over it. This out here, which will go all the way from that pole, all the way over to here. And that's what that'll be. Well, I did it. I hit the stop button instead of the pause. So, all right, so the next update I'm going to give you is on my tomato plants. So let's go over here, and you'll see a group of tomatoes. I don't know, three or four of them right there. So that's one plant. And let's go over here. We got another one over here not doing so good in a voluntary corn plant. A couple of them. Uh, I see some really small ones on there. These I didn't pay attention to. They got outside of the rack and it's my fault. But I think these are ch cherry tomatoes. And then over here, amongst all the flowers and weeds, mostly flowers, I don't see any on this one. Might have to water these tonight. I don't see any on that one. That one there has got some small ones on. I think this here might be another cherry tomato. And then this here has got at least one I see there. Oh, let's see. I've got some junk stored back here, so. I see a small one there. I see a pretty decent one right in there. I see a couple over here. This one here is not doing too good. That one here is doing pretty decent. I see two nice ones on it. Well, they're not nice yet. That one over there I think is another cherry. Yeah, I see about... Oh, shoot, I see a bunch on it. But they're not ready yet. I see one, two, three, four, five, six right there in a cluster. And it's more voluntary corn. And then I've got a couple trailers stored back here, and my boat's on the other side of this enclosed trailer. So that's an update on that. Next, we have an update on the yard sale. Oh, got another tomato plant over here. I forgot all about. I think this one might be another cherry. I don't remember. I don't see anything on it. Oh, yeah, I do. Way down there at the bottom. Almost touching the ground. No, that's not cherry. All right, so now we'll go in here and I'll show you. It's been about a week, week and a half since we had a yard sale. Avoid the mess. I've been in here cutting wood and stuff. This is basically about what we got left. A couple of tables full. Uh, some junk that was pulled out of the garage out of the back garage yeah not a whole lot left and then some stuff over here still for the garage so you can see the signs uh this that this uh the dresser back here is actually ours so that went over pretty well we got rid of a lot of big stuff we had this whole garage full and that parking lot out there full so yeah we got rid of some stuff but let me give you you know they, they say every homesteader has hidden areas well this is one of mine as you can see all this back in here needs to go out to the yard sale so this room has to be completely cleaned out eventually all right so that's the yard sale that is the tomato plants, that is the shed to house. And like I said, stick around to the end. And uh, you'll get to see me paint those steps, I think. Uh, the paint is iffy. And I'll talk more about that once we get around there. 
<clears throat> wow, I swallowed air and it went down the wrong way. Anyways, so let's go over there and start some painting. All right, now let's do some painting. Uh, I said I wasn't going to paint earlier in the video. I said I wasn't going to paint the deck, but I went ahead and painted it. I knew it wasn't going to take me but about 10 minutes. Painted the top stair, uh, getting ready to do the rest of it, as you can see. If I can get my butt out of the way there. Um, you know, it's been less than a year ago, or right at a year ago, that I painted this stuff. Painted the whole outside and everything. And I went ahead and bought two extra gallons of brown and an extra gallon of green. You know, knowing that I, I'm going to have projects like this. And, you know, it all went in the house when I was done. And it's all been in climate control. And one gallon went completely bad. And these two gallons, the brown and the green that I've got out right now, they were about three-quarter gallons. They have uh, about an inch of the bottom of it is just hardened. And... That's Valspar paint from Lowe's, and I've never been a fan of it, and I'm still not a fan of it. It just cost me probably a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna get down here where I can get comfortable and do some painting. So I'll probably do this for a couple of minutes, and then I'll bring you back, you guys back later, because you don't want to sit here and watch paint dry, or at least I don't think you do. I'm putting it on real heavy because the paint is settled. Uh, no amount of stirring or shaking would help it. So I'm putting it on thick. And you guys remember that uh, when I built this, all but this one here got flipped the right way, which so it's all painted underneath. So and it's treated except for the handrails, so it should last as long as I need it to last. And like I said, this is only temporary for the most part. And there's that piece, I don't know if you guys just seen it flip off or not. That was the piece that I messed up last night. I tried to put a screw through it and I knew it was going to crack and it did. And I forgot to bring my glue today. So, we'll try to get that tomorrow. So, you guys excited to see me back on the shed to house working? I wish it was different circumstances, but I'm glad to be working back on it again.
keep looking up there so you guys can see, and you really can't see what I'm doing, but I'll only be here for a second. paint this kick panel in the front get everything nice and coated so it'll last You guys can still see me? Good enough. Yeah, it'll do. If it'll dry. All right, and just like that, it's all painted. And as we can see, I got this end, and I got all of that done. And then we'll come over here to this end when I got all that done I don't see any real bad runs or anything so I'm pretty happy with it now we'll just let paint dry and then we'll do the uprights there green and we'll do the handrails green we'll get that all done and then might end up putting a second coat on it I don't know so let's just wait on paint to dry all right, so we got it basically painted. I'm, I'm waiting for it to dry to uh, be able to cut in down at the bottom. As you can see, it's not cut in down there. Let the brown dry really good, then I'll cut in. I think I can still do it today. And I'm going to put another coat on this green um, from where it is separated. It's not covering the best, but it's covering pretty good. So I'm just going to let it dry. Uh, actually, we can go ahead and try some of it, like right here, right now. All right. I think... This is dry enough. I already did the back side of it because there was a gap back there. Made it to where I could do that. So we'll put tape around the other three sides and see how it works. And while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and put another quick coat on. Now 
Now this side over here has some holes where these were used 4 by 4s so tomorrow I'll bring either over some caulking or some wood putty and fill in the holes just to keep bees and stuff out of it and to make it look better. All right, let's switch sides with you guys. Get you up here where you can see. This is the only board that I used on the whole thing that wasn't treated, but with it being painted, I think it'll be just fine. Paint the back side of this 4x4. Four four. Oh, and the underside of the handrail, too. Don't want to forget that. It's a beautiful evening out here. It's nice and cool. Dad keeps going inside because he said he's cold. I'm definitely not cold, but it sure is nice enough to be sweating. There we go, I think, as long as this tape pulls up nicely, which we'll try right now. Mm, I see a couple little spots, but it's good. Go put this in the crash all right I think I'm done let's take a look back here and see got all the cutting in done everything looks good it's the right color and we can see that the steps run about a quarter of an inch lower on this side than this side and the reason I did that is so rain will 
run off of it that way in the wintertime and not freeze. And over here is probably where I have my trash can. So I don't want it piling up over there. So over here is the best place. And you can't feel it when you walk up it. So we're good to go. Go over here and get another look from it. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. And like I said, eventually, if you guys can see, all the way from here out through that pole will be a deck with a cover, with a roof, and then probably 12 foot out, and oh goodness, probably 25 foot long deck be on this side and it'll be uncovered all right so I think that's about it so if you guys like these kind of videos please give it a thumbs up comment down below like and subscribe once you've subscribed go ahead and click that bell notification go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video or live stream that we publish or post uh, follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video and make sure that you subscribe and we've got a lot going on on this place. We're getting ready to make it livable and then we're going to do a lot of upgrades to it. So you want to stick around for all that. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I got some paint on my hand and it doesn't matter because I'm still my own cameraman, which means I get to get up close and personal and gently poke you guys in the ear to turn this video off. And with all that being said, please, please, please be safe. We'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. Have a great day.